Now that they've done this U-turn on their policy, is, have things changed? Is it different now? Oh yeah, uh, things are very different today. But obviously, from a different perspective, uh, it can be different. The economy, clearly the worst is behind us. And uh, I think we are gaining very fast normalcy. So we're back to normal, uh, you know, quite quickly, uh, you know, in many, many regards on the economic development. But the best times are probably still way, way ahead. We have, you know, we're probably not going to see that for quite a while. But if you look at the economy and look at the market, you know, clearly the worst is over too. The bears are nowhere to be found right now and they all retreated into the woods and uh, all the shots, a lot of the shorts are, are covered now. But I don't think the, uh, the booze are nowhere to be seen either. So they're still somewhere. So it's going to be somewhere before the market can see some real confidence of coming back. But the real economy at the gra grassroots level, completely back. What about foreign investment? Is that coming back into the market? Well, that's the top market. The top market is driven by so many magnified factors like uh, PEs and profit forecast. And all of that require people to have a certain perspective and they need to be really bullish before they're going to come back big time. So I think people gingerly are looking back at it. Big funds, you know, many of them have a pause uh, on the site. I think, uh, you know, they begin to uh, consider the unpause now. Now at MicroConnect, your platform invests in micro businesses, in retail brands and shops. What proportion of your investors, if any, are foreign? Uh, well, the, the franchisor business are largely domestic, um, other than the very big brands like uh, McDonald's and, uh, and, and maybe 7-Elevens, you know, they are foreign investors or international investors. But the, the, the franchise business in China is different. We have huge numbers of franchisors with relatively smaller number of shops on each of the franchisors because of diverse nature. So it is very local. It is very native, but it's also very resilient because that really associated with everyday life of the Chinese people. Now that uh, life is back to normal, you need to eat, you need to be serviced, you need to have haircut, you need to do many, many things. And then that sector is coming back, you know, in real, real terms.